I think I've got quite a frightening face, but an intriguing face, like an old witch, or a slightly demonic face. The only person I'd seen who had maybe a stronger, more like, whoo, face than me was Liam Gallagher. I saw Liam Gallagher once and I was like, Jesus, it's like his face was poking me in the eye. If I wear a moustache, if I have a sunglasses on, if I wear a hat, people go, oh, I know. And I'm like, wow, I've got a cowboy hat on, sunglasses, a beard, a hood, and then I go to a football match, and the guy will go, all right, no. I'm just like, what is it? I can't, that's the problem with my face, is it's the most recognizable face in the world. Like, sort of hard football type men are always quite disappointed and angry that their girlfriends think I'm attractive. But like, it's just, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? That transsexual witch. <laughs> Like as a kid? Completely different actually. Sort of blonde, very blonde and sort of big blue eyes and a bit like scared. Um, I was quite shy, big bold cut. I used to have my fringe quite low so that people couldn't kind of get at me, but like Lady Di. Um, yeah, it's a sort of defence, you know. I was quite chavvy, you know, I was from South London, I played football and we were white trainers and, you know, dark blue jeans and jackets and pints. But I always felt like that wasn't really for me. And my mum and dad were very hippie-ish and they were really young when they had me, so it's quite bohemian and they asked, there's a point where you have to go art college or football, you know, and I just realised I wasn't going to be good enough for football, so I sort of went, right, I'm going to art school and that's it. It's been a nightmare because I've always sort of art, comedy, my art's quite funny because it's not that good. <laughs> my comedy's quite arty. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> so I'm sort of like, I don't know who I am, I've never quite pulled it off. I think basically you have many personas, none of them are a the sort of true to who you really are. I guess only really your parents and your friends really know who you are, I guess. I think I am a bit exhausting. I think I'm sort of both though. I think I'm quite schizophrenic. I mean, I can be really free and fun, but then I can be quite depressed or I can be quite extreme, so I get really angry. I did do, have a bit where the boosh got really famous and then I was in the Groucho all the time. I was hanging out with, you know, whatever, Reese Siffins or Amy Winehouse. That kind of, Camden boy, indie, druggy sort of groucho character. I hate that character. I'd like to stab that character to death. That's what people want to see, really. They don't really want to see you in a cardigan in Tesco's going, I'm quite straight in real life. <laughs> they go, that's boring. I want to see you in red boots and a cape. I guess what I have to tell you. You had a cape on. As Noel Gallagher said to me once, it's not the fact you've got a fucking cape on, mate. It's the fact it's a Tuesday. <laughs> I thought about killing myself off and inventing a character where you couldn't see my face. I think that sometimes you just want the work to speak for itself and it can't because your face is too strong. <laughs> or not strong enough. <laughs> I'm a pointy old witch. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Basically, I'm a geisha. That's what I'm saying.